through an example of using keywords to search in a library database. This is an EBSCO database. The library has quite a few databases within EBSCO, each with their own specialty. Remember that my keywords were female college athletes and eating disorders. Here's a tip. The more you type in, the less you may find. This is a pretty long keyword search. So if you don't find anything or you don't find enough on the first search, remove a keyword or two. In this case, I'd probably remove female. You can see that this didn't find a lot of articles, but if you look through some of the titles, you'll see that they are very close to my topic, so it is a good start. Many databases will also highlight or put the words that you searched on in bold. Very handy. We can also do keyword searchings within the library catalog. I'm going to broaden my search a little bit because I know that something as specific as searching on female college athletes and eating disorders might not show up in a book, which is what the library catalog searches mostly. So I'm going to broaden my search to the prevention of eating disorders. So I just typed in the keywords eating disorders and prevention and I'm just going to do a quick search by matching all the words that I've typed in and then you click search. This brings up 38 items and it's um, listed in alphabetical order so we can just scroll through and see there's a few good ones but here's a really good one disordered eating among athletes. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And our next video will show, we'll talk about how to use keywords to find the subject headings.